Okay, so here we are today, uh, Fox Performance Engines. I was asked today, uh, how exactly do I size my guides, and if I do it properly or not, and um, I figured I'd make a little video and show everybody just the right way of how sizing valve guides happens, and how to measure them properly, and not take inaccurate measurements or just by go by feel. Uh, this is pretty much the industry standard of how it's done. Uh, if you go to any engine machine shop uh, across the country, uh, any race shops, anything like that, there's only one company that makes a good quality uh, valve guide probe for measuring valve guides, and it's made by the Sun and Company. It's their P300 gauge, and it's basically a whole entire block kit, gauge block kit that it lets you set up a, a probe to accurately probe down into a guide and measure the actual clearance that you have on it. So basically what it is, is you have this unit right here and it sits in these two blocks Oops. and you put the valves that you're sizing to, so these are the valves that go into the head, they clamp down into these blocks and then they simulate the diameter of the actual guide that you're trying to achieve. So you set up your gauge and you make sure you got a zero on your gauge. You know, as you spin it in these blocks side to side, you can see that, you know, we have an accurate zero on our gauge. So now at this point, we're going to take this probe out and I'll show you the end of it. This little thing right here goes in and out inside the guide and actually measures your clearance. So we'll go over to the head and I'm going to actually measure the a guide that I have just sized. I actually honed it out to size. It was a 916 head that I put bronze guides in that was they were worn out. The stock guides were worn out because the motor had about 20,000 or 30,000 miles on it. So we have the head here. Uh, we have the guide, new guides, you can see the, the bronze colored guides down in the heads. They were just installed. And I actually honed them with an actual honing stone to the actual fitment, the exact fit of the clearance on these. And the most specs on most valves for just about across the industry is about anywhere from a thou and a half to two thousandths. So generally on the intakes I'll run about uh, a thou and two tenths, a thou and three tenths, and on the exhaust, you always want the exhaust a little bit looser because they run hotter, so you don't want to seize up the valve in the guide. So on exhaust valves, you generally run anywhere from a thou and a half to a thou and eight tenths. On titanium valves, you can go generally go about two thou because it's a, two dissimilar metals, and you want to run a little extra clearance to keep them keep everything moving freely. So what we have here is this is our hone. This is a honing stone mechanism. And this is actually goes down into the guide and spins around. And I don't know if you can see it, you can see there's a stone on the end of this thing. And you actually true the stone in a truing sleeve before you do any guide work and make sure that the stone is actually round and straight and doesn't have a taper to it. And it's made by Sunnen as well. Very high quality instrument here for sizing guides. Um, as you crank this little handle on here, this little dial here, this will expand the stone. And as you're honing, the stone wears away and the guide wears away, so you actually have to keep mo expanding the stone to get your proper clearance as you're honing it. So this guide has actually already been sized. I've already actually achieved my, my number on this. And basically what you do is you take this probe, you slide it down into the guide, and it will tell you the clearance. And if you recall, when we set it on the, the blocks over there, it was set at zero. And this will tell you, as I move it up and down in here, we have a thou and six tenths of clearance because it's oversized. So make sure I'm holding it centered. And if I move it up and down, you can see I'm within within a tenth of my measurement. As I go up and down with the gauge, I just slipped out of it. 
So that's basically the right way to measure valve guide clearance. Now, what I've come across is a lot of old-time mechanics, they will say they'll do a wiggle test. Well, what's a wiggle test? I'll show you what a wiggle test is, and I'll show you just how inaccurate it is. If you if you remember, I sized that guy, I moved the probe up and down there, up and down in there, and you actually saw that the clearance was a thou and six tenths. And if I stick the the valve down in here, and if I move it, it'll move back and forth. It's hard to see on this video, but the valve will move back and forth, and it'll actually move a considerable amount. And what feels like it might be a big clearance, I don't know if I can get this focused on this in a while or not, or not so you can see it, and what might feel like a big clearance on a wiggle test is technically not a big clearance, because what might feel big in your hands is not in the reality of the world whenever you measure it, the, you know, an actual measurement. So that's what we have to show you today, and hopefully we have educated some people, and some people are a little bit smarter these days, and we're going to look and uh, do things the right way. So thanks a lot. Uh, my website's www.foxperformanceengines.com. Uh, any questions, you can email me. The email address is on the website. Thanks a lot.